Hello, these problems are going to help you with your homework in section 1.4. This problem is pretty much exactly like the first few on your worksheet. So this question is just telling you to take steps backward and forward and figure out where your ending position is. It might help you to have a little line like this. Um, if you think back and you remember to the little football game that we played, uh, this could possibly represent the field. So let's go with the starting position is one. I'm just going to pick the spot here and call it one. All right, then we're taking seven steps backwards. So backwards will be left. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps backward. Then you're going to move nine steps forward. So this is where I am now, nine steps forward, so to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so then what is our ending position? Well, if this is one, then the next one's two, and the one we landed on was three. So our ending position is three, pretty easy. Okay, let's go on to example two, where we're using the same problem, and now we're gonna write a number sentence for it. I'm gonna write mine down here because my pen's too fat, it'll not all fit up in there. So starting position is one, is plus one. Step backwards, to represent the steps backwards, I'm gonna say plus, where I moved back, seven. Okay, see how I wrote this in parentheses? This doesn't mean multiply any numbers together. It's just a way to separate the plus from the negative, or the positive from the negative, or the plus sign from the minus sign. All the same thing there. Okay, so don't get confused by the parentheses. You will see that all the time when dealing with integers to separate the signs. All right, so we had starting position was one, plus we moved back word seven, then we're moving forwards nine, and we ended on a positive three. So that is my number sentence. Very simple. Okay, on to example three, which is a word problem. So we're going to read the word problem and then circle the important information. While spending the day at the beach, Sarah tries to dig a deep hole in the sand. She digs down 24 inches. Seems pretty important. Before the walls of the hole collapse, filling the hole with six inches of sand. Then she continues, ooh, continues to dig down 10 inches. My phone's ringing. Okay, let me regroup here. I just had to answer the phone. There's love that that happens. Okay, so she continues to dig a hole 10 inches before the sides of the hole collapse again, filling the hole with 5 inches of sand. So, get my pen working again. 5 inches, and this was filled. All right, so what I have done here is have this little number line, again, going vertical, representing that down here would be the bottom of the hole, while Sarah is up here. Okay, so the hole is down here. All right, and then our instructions are to write a number sentence. Well, first, let's kind of figure out what's going on, and then we can write the sentence. So she digs down 24 inches. So down would be minus 24. So let's say she added 24 inches down. Okay, so let's say she digs down to here. This is 24 inches down. All right, then walls collapse, filling the hole with six inches. So it fills up six inches. One, two, three, four, man, five, six. All right, so we added six back to the hole. Okay, then she continues to dig down again, 10 inches. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so she digs down ten inches before the sides collapse again, filling the hole with five inches. So it goes back up five inches. So we're all the way down here, and then it fills up with one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it goes up five. All right, so then let's figure out what our ending position is. Well, here's where we're ending. 
Originally, the hole was 24 down. Now it looks like it's one inch closer to Sarah or closer to the top. So it ends at 23 inches. So writing our number sentence here, we have plus negative 24 plus 6 plus negative 10 plus 5 equals 23. All right, that would be your number sentence. Thank you. I hope this helped you with your homework.